up, Metaquax with you tonight on a little talk on power outages. Yes, of course, this is a scare to me because a lot of things that's operated in a tank is run by electricity. Right, guys, so what are some things that fish need to stay alive? Okay, number one, they gotta have oxygen. Okay, they really, really have to have oxygen to be able to stay alive. Number two, they actually do gotta have heat. Not all fish do, but most of them do really good when you have a source of heat in their aquarium. If you're like me, I have tons of fish tanks in the house that is operated by electricity, of course. And you know, you always got that thing in your mind. So what if there's a storm that comes across your home that causes electricity to go out or even flicker? Um, what if somebody gets in a car accident and runs into an electric pole? There's always that in your mind. So what are you gonna do? And what is the steps to avoid losing hundreds and hundreds of dollars of fish in your home aquarium? Of course, there's this main thing of buying a home generator. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and spend thousands of dollars just on a home generator. You necessarily don't have to do that. Now, if you got the funds to do that, more power to you. Actually, certain things that you can get online, especially at topfin.com, to be able to purchase such as a battery-operated air pump to give your fish in your home aquarium oxygen to be able to, you know, survive. This next part of the video, you're actually going to see a picture of a portable air pump that is actually battery operated just in case, for instance, you lose power in your home and there's no way to give your fish oxygen. <laughs> approximately two days in the tank without having any proper oxygen or so on but I don't want to take that risk because I have hundreds and hundreds of dollars in my setups including my fish so think about that you know because it can happen so just prepare be ready for when that power outage does happen so last but not least make sure in your home aquarium to unplug all things ran to your home aquarium such as your heaters, your power heads, canister filters, skimmers, um, everything like that. Make sure you unplug before the electricity does come back on just to save your equipment because if you're like me you have tons of money into your filtration systems and you don't want something to happen to them such as them burning up or probably not working as electricity comes back on. Again, thank you for watching Mad Aquatics, and if this video helped you out of any way, please leave a comment. Also, hit that subscribe button, and y'all have a great night, and thank you for watching Mad Aquatics.